what's going on you guys so i was going through my twitter feed and i saw this message from the devs and i figured hey you know maybe this is going to be something uh interesting new feature something like that so i clicked on it and i saw the first sentence and i stopped and i said all right let's find out together um developer thoughts on the victoria 3 leak okay Interesting. I didn't know there was a leak. Uh, <laughs> what kind of leak? Uh, last week, the Victoria 3 dev team was alerted that streams of an in-development build of the game shared with a small group of testers was being broadcast within small online community. As these things go, this footage quickly ended up in public as hype grew around the leaked videos to the demands for more and before long, long links to download a cracked version of the leaked build started to get around. Whoa. This was not in any news I read. What the? We understand you're excited about the game. We are too, and we're anxious to share it with you properly. But there's a reason why we haven't yet launched Victoria 3 in open beta, early access, or similar. Yet, yes, the game is technically in a playable state. Oh, nice. But its current lack of balance uh, and level of polish obscures many aspects of mechanics and how they're interrelated. Some interfaces are tedious or just not fun to engage with yet. It lacks a lot of crucial AI work, contains game-breaking bugs, and has only the rudimentary tutorial, I don't care about tutorial, and player guidance. Especially in, in an interconnected game like Victoria, just a single deficiency like that can have a negative domino effect on the whole experience of playing the game. I'm not really concerned about balance. Um, the world's not balanced as it is, you know, like I'm, you know, I mean, <laughs> at that time, you know, how do I, how do I put it? Um, I don't know what they're balancing, but, you know, I mean, obviously certain nations will be more strong than others. Uh, I'm just kind of curious what kind of balancing issues they're referring to. But, uh, yeah, this is interesting. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, we can explain at length in Dev Diaries uh, how the mechanics work and what our intentions with them are. But once you get a feel for how the game mechanics work in action, all those words lose their meaning. So when something isn't fully realized in the game yet, you're going to come away with the inaccurate impression of what intended to be, intended to be. Uh, that's not good for either of us and it uh, greatly damages our ability to have an open dialogue with you. If what you want is less interaction between developers and community and a more closely guarded development for future Paradox projects, then leaks like this are the single best way to try to make that happen. We have, of course, read many of the uh, posts uh, community members have made since the playing the leak, both positive and negative ones. Fact is, no matter how in-depth or insightful, none of them identify anything that's new or surprising to us. Many of the concerns raised were already scheduled to be addressed in the development plan up to release. Even the most positive posts about how fun engaging the game is, is even uh, in an unbalanced, unpolished state, are tainted with the uh, knowledge that this first impressions is a letdown compared to what it ought to have been. For this reason, none of the feedback we've gotten as a result of the leak is really actionable or uh, of any really use to us. It has mainly served as a hit to the team's morale. Damn. Uh, and a distraction for finishing the game, and in fact made it harder for us to act on your feedback, tainted as it is now by all the factors mentioned above. Once the game has reached a state where we could really benefit from and respond to your feedback, we'll be eager to be able to properly show it to you. Uh, Paradox has always maintained a quite open development process, and in the Deve uh, Victoria Deve Dev team, we intend to double down on the responsive to community input because we think that's what's best for, for the game but what for that communication trust to work you have to also trust that we're not showing you something yet it's because it's really isn't res ready to be shown before the league we were already uh looking forward to streaming the game in the near future oh and to focus more on showing off the game in motion and we're of course still planning to do this we understand your curiosity and how excited you are for the game and what has happened isn't going to change our focus on delivering a great game at release. However, while doing so, we can't help feeling disappointed and demoralized Dang, by how all of this went down. I was not aware that there was a leak uh, at all. Like, what? I mean, I usually visit sites like... Um, polygon you know uh i sometimes visit blues news i haven't seen anything about a leak so this is kind of uh felt fell below my radar visit reddit i don't i haven't seen anything about this so this is 
uh, quite interesting. Um, I am kind of surprised at this. Uh, and no offense to the person that did this. That, you know, it's effed up that you did that. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, if Paradox lets you play an early build of the game, uh, I guess to get your feedback and stuff like that, and you, you know, release it, uh, I mean, dude, that's, that's effed up, man, on, on their part, big time, uh, and, yeah, that's, that's, wow, you know, um, I was offered, uh, numerous times, uh, well, I do my developer dialogue podcast, uh, and I was offered numerous times to get, like, early builds of the game where you could play the game right now if you want, um, and I always say no, uh, the reason being is because I, I want the final product, first impressions are everything, right, you know, um, you know, if you're going to, um, you know, buy a car, right, right, let's say I want to buy the new Ford, well, they don't make it anymore, Ford Fusion 2022, right, um, I, I don't want to, you know, I guess drive the car while they're testing out certain features because it's going to taint my initial, you know, like, wow, this is incredible. You know, like, look at all, you know, that, that time that you get in the car and it's brand new and everything is worked out and it's just perfect, uh, for the most part. Right. Uh, you know, you get to drive that car. Um, but I don't want to like you know, drive it while like half this stuff is missing, uh, you know, the balance is off this and that, because by the time I get into that car, I'm going to be clouded by that first impressions. Um, so I totally understand where paradox is coming from. Uh, I'll kind of, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm sure I can find this, um, this, this version on the, on the internet, uh, and play it. Uh, I'm not going to though. Um, I might look at some videos on YouTube, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to play the game because again, like I said, it's going to taint my first impressions of the game. Uh, and you know, I'll be honest, like it's, it's effed up. It's a, sh it's shame on that person that freaking, uh, uh, that released the game into the wild, the cracked build of it. Like, dude, you're, you know, like whoever you are, you're kind of a scumbag for doing that. Um, just putting that out there, you know, like you, you broke the confidence and trust that Paradox put in, uh, put, f f you know, put in, um, and you're going to taint everybody's first impressions of the game. So pff, like, I, I guess they wanted to get their name in notoriety, you know, like, Oh, look, 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 I'm the one that gave you this. And like, yeah, you screwed it up for all of us. Wow. Um, I'm sorry to the Paradox development team, uh, you know, uh, I can imagine that this demoralizes you guys. Um, but, you know, people like me, you know, I'm not playing that build. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see the videos that you guys publish. Um, and, uh, you know, because I want to see what your uh, vision for it is, your, your true vision, which I, I have hundred percent confidence in because Victoria one and two were awesome. And I could only imagine that you're like, Hey, we got to top that. Uh, so, uh, you know, keep on pushing guys, you know, get, you know, get motivated. Cause you guys are awesome. You know, you guys are doing, bringing us Victoria three. So you guys are awesome. If you're listening to this, you guys are awesome. Get back on that computer. F that guy that did that or person that did that. Uh, and just strive on, you know, you guys, uh, you guys are, you know, Warriors, keep going forward, you know. All right. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I didn't know about this. Um, and I, I hope the development team, like, pushes through this and just, you know, gets us that Victoria 3 game that we um, we all want, that we all, you know, dream of. And, uh, you know, um, I'm sure they're going to give us that. So, catch you guys in the next one. See you then.